Hey guys, Justin here with the SketchUp Essentials. So I thought I'd try something a little bit different. This is actually one of the things that one of my favorite authors does. And I wanted to give you kind of a peek behind the curtain of what I'm working on moving forward with the SketchUp Essentials. So I'm doing a lot of stuff and I think it probably doesn't get seen a lot of the time. So I wanted to give you kind of an idea of what the game plan is for 2025. So first off, I'm currently working on my series about the new features contained in SketchUp 2025. I want to make sure that you've got the information that you need in order to start working with this new version. And so I always like to have detailed information about the updates and the new features contained in SketchUp 2025 or really any new version. So right now with filming and editing, that series is approximately 45% complete. So I still have to do some planning on some additional videos as well as getting some other things uploaded. And I'm excited to have some discussions about where SketchUp is in 2025 and beyond. So I'm really excited to finish going through those new features for you and making sure you know how those work. And so after I'm done with the new features videos, another thing that I want to get into is giving more of a start to finish way of getting started with SketchUp version 2025. And so I'm going to be updating my beginner series, showing you how the program works so that you've got a good baseline for places to go in order to get started. So that series is currently in the pre-planning stage and I'm at about 20% of the pre-planning before I start filming or anything like that. So that's something I'm going to try to get into this month so that you have some more resources to be confident working with SketchUp 2025. Okay, next up, course updates. So as many of you know, I have a course where I teach people how to use SketchUp. I provide support um, as well as great learning materials. We have live calls to talk about new, fe new features and help get people's questions answered. So if you do want some additional help with SketchUp, um, I'll link to that on this page. But in particular, I'm working on a new module for the SketchUp Essentials course, specifically focused on landscape, garden design, and civil design. So it teaches you how to work with grading, it teaches you how to work with different plants, as well as showing you how to create different plans and documents from your landscape designs. So this is probably one of the most in-depth resources I've ever seen on working with that kind of modeling. It's currently at 80% complete. I have one more module to film and one more module to edit, and then that whole thing is going to be available. But in the meantime, that 80% is available for people to start learning in the SketchUp Essentials course. So if you do want to learn a little bit more about how to create landscape and garden designs or do grading in SketchUp, you're going to want to check that out inside of the SketchUp Essentials course. You can access the first 80% today. Okay, so in addition, one of the things that I want to make sure that I'm adding to the course is good example files so that you can see what I'm doing. One of the things that helps me out the most with something like a twin motion or a Lumion is going in there and looking at the way those example files are set up. So I'm trying to provide something like that inside of the course. So I'm planning on providing different kinds of models for different locations. And at the moment, the first example model that I'm working on is a kitchen model. That model is approximately 95% modeled, but I need to go through and do some additional work on the layout file that's going to be associated with that. But once I'm done with that, I'm going to upload it inside of the SketchUp Essentials course, and you can give it a download. You can give it a try, reverse engineer it, ask me any questions that you have about it, that kind of thing. So if you're looking for some great example models, I'm going to be providing those as resources inside of the SketchUp Essentials course. That whole project is approximately 65% complete, and it's something that I'm hoping on working on over the next two weeks. Okay, so in addition, I'm doing a couple different series on extensions that I'm working on for the channel as well. So first off, you've probably seen the videos in my profile builder series where I'm getting in-depth teaching you how to use the extension profile builder to create things like railings and walls and other things like that. So I'm trying to make that the ultimate resource to teach you how to really utilize the power of profile builder. So that series is approximately 45% complete. I still have some planning and some filming to do with that series and it's been pushed back a little bit with all of the SketchUp 2025 resources. But keep an eye out for that. There's going to be more profile builder videos on the channel coming soon. And then finally, and these are not all the projects that I have working on, but these are the ones I'm focusing on. I've put off doing a series on the extension 5D Plus for a long time. 
So 5D Plus is an extension that basically helps you automate the plan creation process in your models. It's a super powerful extension that I've just been going through and figuring out how it works so I can break down that process. So, so that series is very early. I almost have the intro video for that series done, but then if there's interest, we're going to dive into the extensions a little bit more in depth. So that series is at approximately 15% right now, and I'm going to be continuing to work on it over the next month or so. Like I said, this is not all of the projects that I'm working on, but it should give you kind of an idea of the big, larger projects that I'm putting my time into in March of 2025. Is there something that you think I should be focusing on? Feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you do need any help with your SketchUp modeling, definitely make sure you check out the SketchUp Essentials course. I'm super engaged with helping students make sure that they can achieve their SketchUp goals and not get stuck. So if you need a place to go learn SketchUp where everything's broken down um, in a non-intimidating fashion, where you can just follow the steps in order to learn how to create the models that you want and get some help if you get stuck you can definitely check out my course i'll link to it on this page but as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and i'll catch you in the next video thanks guys